Hello and welcome to the English virtual class. The topic for today's workbook exercises and cross-curricular reading and activities. CL, IL. Let's begin. Let's practice together. Put the verbs in brackets into the correct tense to form conditionals. Let's see the first sentence. If Paul, you should use not go skiing, he wouldn't have broken his leg. Let's see the correct answer together. If Paul hadn't gone. The second one, if only Steve, you completed with it healthier food and not just junk food. Let's see the correct answer together. If only Steve ate or would eat. Number three, if you hit water to 100 degrees Celsius, it you completed with boil. Let's see the correct answer together. Boils. Number four, if only I, you completed with have an aspirin for my headache. Let's see the correct answer. If only I had an aspirin for my headache. Let's continue with the other sentences. You, you completed with burn the sauce if you don't turn the heat down. You will burn the sauce. Number six. I, you completed with put an ice pack on your ankle if I were you. Let's see the correct answer together. I would put. Number seven, I wish you, you completed with help me bake a cake. I wish you would or could help me. Number eight, the last one, if only Jill, you completed with not pull a muscle in her leg, now she can't walk properly. Let's see. Hadn't pulled. If only Jill hadn't pulled. Let's continue. Make conditional sentences. The first one, Corey hadn't studied. He has a migraine. How can we make a conditional sentence? Let's see. If Corey didn't have a migraine, he would be able to study. The second one, Mark didn't clean his cut, it got infected. Let's see the correct sentence. If Mark had cleaned his cut, it wouldn't have got infected. Let's continue. Number three, don't leave milk out the refrigerator, it goes off. Let's see the correct answer, the transformation. If you leave milk out the refrigerator, it goes off. Let's continue with number four. Put some cream on your rash, it will get better. Let's see. If you put some cream on your rash, it will get better. Let's continue. Number five, Terry broke his arm, he couldn't play tennis. Let's see. If Terry hadn't broken his arm, he could have played or would have been able to play tennis. Now, what is CLIL? CLIL stands for Content and Language Integrated Learning, as you may know. It is being exposed to English language while learning content of other subjects. For today, we have a CLIL reading, Health Tips. Let's see, six health tips. The context in which an individual lives is of great importance on health status and quality of life. Health is maintained and improved not only through the advancement and application of health science, but also through the efforts and intelligent lifestyle choices of the individual and society. Here are some basic tips for maintaining a good health. Let's begin in the first one. Exercise, you don't have to belong to a gym club. 30 minutes walk every day will do to prevent weight gain and encourage moderate weight loss. The second one, eat healthy, reduce fat intake, cut down on sugar and opt for fruits and vegetables. This helps reduce the cholesterol and blood pressure. Healthy food will also lead to better blood sugar control. Let's continue with the third one. Reduce stress. Not everything we want, we get. We have to accept that there are things that we cannot control. Managing time is also of great importance too. We must allow ourselves enough time to get things done. Set a time during the day for relaxation. Number four, improve sleep. 
avoid caffeine, alcohol, nicotine, and other chemicals that interfere with sleep. Equip your bedroom with comfortable mattress and pillows. Sleep in a dark, clean, and quiet environment. Let's continue. Number five, meditation. Meditation has been linked to a variety of health benefits. It has been linked to changes in metabolism, blood pressure, brain activation, and other bodily processes. Number six, positive thinking. People who think positively have an optimistic view of life that affects their health and well-being. Optimism has been shown to explain between 5 to 10 percent of the variation in the likelihood of developing some health conditions, notably including cardiovascular disease, stroke, depression, and cancer. Thank you for your attention.